Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can manipulate um, numerical and categorical data by using certain uh, Excel functions. Um, number one function that we're going to use uh, in this video is Excel's if function and number two is going to be the VLOOKUP tables. Uh, so those are going to be very handy when it comes to reformatting your data from numeric to categorical, categorical to numeric, and you will see you know, how it works. Um, so as your you know, textbooks chapter two suggests, we do have this data set. Uh, it is an environmental survey data. They surveyed uh, 30 different people and they collected their age, their gender, their state, uh, the number of children that they have, but their salary and their opinion about this specific question. And opinions can be um, you know, strongly agree, disagree, neutral, agree and strongly agree. And they do have some uh, integer codes for these uh, opinions, right? And we do have three different tasks. Let's assume that we are the analysts and we are trying to understand this data further. I would like to do some work on it. Um, our tasks are listed as like this. Uh, number one task is let's convert gender column into two different levels based on this uh, representation. So it basically asks us to go to column C and convert these male females into one and zero numbers. So if it is a male, we would like to put um, one here. And if it is a female, we would like to put zero here. Um, and task two and task three are going to be um, modifying H column and modifying the opinion column respectively. So the age column, what we need to do is uh, we do have lots of lots of different age numbers here. Um, in order for us to make um, you know take some you know uh, opinions out of this column, so um, maybe we decide to uh, really uh, categorize the numbers that are closer to zero as young, closer to thirty-five as middle-aged, and closer to sixty as elderly people. Um, and then we are going to do it in VLOOKUP. And finally, we do have a strict uh, guideline here under task three. Um, you know, if it is strongly disagree, we are going to put one here. Um, well, if, or if it is one, then we are going to put, uh, replace one with the strongly disagree text in this column. Two for disagree, three for neutral, four for agree, and five for strongly agree. All right, so let's get started. Um, what I will do is I will copy on this table, the entire table. Uh, the way that I select the entire table is like this. So I'm using a Mac. So I select A1 cell. And what I do is I hit Command and Shift and right key, right uh, arrow key. And I will be selecting the entire row, first row. And afterwards, you are still putting your um, hands on command and shift, hit the bottom uh, row key, and you would be selecting the entire data set. One more time, if you would like to select the entire row, for example, or let's first select the entire column this time. So I hit command and shift, and I, I put my finger on, as I'm hitting on command and shift, I hit, um, bottom pointing arrow key on, the, on my keyboard. It will select my entire column, which has numbers in it. And again, I'm not, uh, I am also still uh, pushing on command and shift key. And then I hit uh, the right arrow key on my keyboard and then select my entire table. This is how you can navigate through your selections in an Excel. So I hit, I went A and C to copy this and then paste it on my new coding worksheet. Because I'm going to change the structure of these columns, I would like to you know, copy and paste them and do the changes in a different uh, worksheet. All right, so the first task is to change this. If it is male, put one. If it is female, put zero here. So I will delete the entire um, column input. And what I will do is based on this input here in my original table, I hit if statement and open the parentheses. If you do that, Excel gives you, uh, what are you trying to do here, right? So it basically tells you, okay, what is your selection? And I'm going to say 
based on this cell's input, okay? And if this input is actually equals to, all right, in quotation, male, I will like this number to be one. If not, it's going to take on the second value here, right? So this statement is going to read like this. If open the parentheses, the cell is equals to male, this value and the new coding is going to take on a value of one. If not, it is going to be zero. All right, let's hit enter. As you, as you see, it is one because, well, it is one, it is male here, right? So in order to make this uh, formula active, so you need to drag this uh, small, very tiny, small uh, square down on the bottom right. And then you make sure that this is implemented on all the cells in this column. And let's do a sanity checks to see whether it works. So for example, person five is labeled as zero here. It should be female. Yep, person five is female. So it's working. All right. So our second task here is to convert each column into different levels based on now is levels. We'll change them here. A quick typo. All right. Um, so in the in the second task, we are going to be doing these further changes on the H column. If it is closer to zero, you label them young. Closer to thirty five, we you know below thirty five or uh, you know above thirty five, but closer to thirty five. Other than these values, we're going to label them middle aged. And closer to eight, sixty, we are going to call them elderly. Although this uh, this is not correct, so it was uh, those are not really elderly people, um, but you know this is what the guidelines are. So let's do our best with the VLOOKUP table. So VLOOKUP is a very nice, very handy um, function of Excel. It is a little bit you know hard to grasp what to, you're trying to do at first if you're just starting. It might be very difficult to understand what's going on with the VLOOKUP, but once you get a hold on it, you will see that it is going to be very useful for your future use. Uh, for the sake of our references, I'm just going to copy these guidelines and then paste them here. And what we are trying to do here is to modify, well, just too fast. Uh, modify the H column. So I will delete H numbers here because I do have my reference numbers in my previous worksheet. And what I need to do is to call VLOOKUP, okay? Um, of course, if you click on VLOOKUP function, Excel's help menu is going to guide you truly uh, very nicely uh, in this function. So it's going to basically tell you that, you know, you have to put the lookup value first and then the range containing the lookup value, the number, the column number, blah, 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 blah. You can take a look at the help menu. Um, but before I even do this function, I will have to do one more thing. Um, in VLOOKUP table, if you have a reference subtable, it is going to be very handy. What do I mean by reference subtable? Well, this simply the selection of this. So I do have my reference subtable here. And when I'm saying to VLOOKUP, hey, VLOOKUP, if it is closer to zero, label it young, closer to 25, label it middle age, closer to 60, label it elderly, Excel, can, uh, Excel enables me to define this as a sub-reference table. How? Well, you make sure that you select this entire table that you would like to reference to, right? And then come over here in the very top left corner, as you see, it is now saying that it is J4. J4 is the starting cell of this sub-table. Um, let's change the name to H look up. When you hit enter, now Excel understands that this table is being referenced as HLOOKUP table, okay? So I can refer to this table in anywhere in Excel, all right? Um, so let me come over here then. I would like to look up my H value from my reference table based on the values that I have here, all right? So 
then I the, the first statement that you're going to put here, it is the lookup value. I'm going to look up this 35, this H value from the original document. And based on table array, it says the second input that you have to put in there. The table array is going to be my H lookup table. Okay, I'll hit comma. And what I will do is I am going to say age lookup. As you can see, Excel brings it up because I already defined it. It says the third input, it says that column index number. So it says basically um, this reference table that you just created, okay? It has two columns, right? Column number one and column number two. Which one you are trying to look up? All right, um, and I'm trying to look up this second column. That's why I put as a number of um, um, that's why I put here. I just picked up new coding. I don't know why. Uh, the column index number should be two because I will be looking up these young, middle aged, and elderly labels, and those are stored in the column two of this table. Okay. And then um, the range lookup is just a Boolean entry. It says that, okay, um, if you go back to your original um, data, for example, you do have all different ranges here, right? Um, I do have only three categories. It says zero, 35, and 60. Um, but I do have, for example, 57. How is it going to be you know, uh, labeled um, because I have only three categories. So 57 does not, is not included in these three categories, right? Um, as you can see, you have different options here. If you put true, then it's going to get an approximate match. If it is false, then it's going to be looking up these exact numbers. And if you can't find it, it's going to label them as young, middle-aged and elderly. If it is not going to find it, then it's going to label them as an error, okay? Well, therefore, we just need to do through approximate match because that's what we are trying to do, right? Any, any, any age that's closer to zero, we'd like to be labeled them as young. Closer to 35, we'd like to label them middle-aged. And closer to 60, we'd like to label them as early, right? So we just need to put them through here. Um, if, as you are navigating through different worksheets, Excel is picking up those names, okay? Um, I'm not going to put anything here other than true. So I deleted what I just entered and so automatically filled it. It should work. Let's hit enter. Well, let's double check. It put middle-aged here. Uh, let's see what was the age. Okay, age was 35 and it's close. Well, it's exactly 35. Well, let's first fill out this entire um, column and see if we can do a sanity check. Okay, maybe it is changing here. Uh, person number six, six is labeled as young. Um, person label six was female. Okay, uh, it was labeled as young. Well, I think this is what's going on. Anything that is less than 35, um, then, um, our function is labeling as, as young. Sorry, I mean, I completely misread that. Um, so a, what this VLOOKUP function do here is um, over here, uh, what it does here is it based on this table, um, it is picking up the values between zero and 35 and it's labeling them as young. And if it is 35, if it is between 35 and 60, then Excel is labeling them as middle-aged and anything greater than 60 uh, is being labeled as elderly. All right, so let's double check this elderly then. Person number seven, the age is 65. It is greater than 60, therefore it is elderly. And that makes much more sense. I was not really thinking straight. I apologize for that. But this is how Excel's VLOOKUP table uh, works um, when you put true there, right? On the next tag, on the next next task, we are going to see the version where it has to be false. All right, so let's take a look at that one and then that will be end of this video. So in task three, we would like to um, convert opinion column into different levels based on, based on the table below. Um, what it says that right now we do have numbers here, okay? 
we would like to convert them into strongly agree, disagree, neutral, agree, and strongly agree. Maybe we are going to put a, a report together and our audience has no idea what one uh, or versus uh, five means, right? We would like to see these labels here and how we do it. Um, again, uh, I will just get rid of uh, these numerical numbers and I'm going to copy this opinion lookup table. Well, it's going to be my reference table. Paste them here. As we did with the H table, I am going to select this entire uh, sub table. I will come here and then name it as opinion look up. Okay, now it is a sub table in Excel and I can safely call it, right? Let me just say look up. open the parentheses. The look up value that I'm looking for is actually here. Okay, in my original set and my new coding um, the table array, I'll delete this new coding, is going to be opinion lookup. And I'm looking for, again, the second column. So I put two. This time, I'm not looking for approximate match. I'm looking for exact match. Therefore, I call, I put false here. I hit enter. And it works. Um, you can double click this one and or you can drag it down uh, until this last entry. But if you double click that bottom square, that works too. And what happens here, let's do a sanity check. For example, person number 10 input was four. And four is actually an agree. Well, that works. Um, and you will see that, you know, it picked up the other numbers correctly. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, more will, be, will, will come very shortly.